the game of pickleball is to be played the way its inventors intended, then dinking is always going to be a part of it. The kitchen line is the great equaliser that makes our game competitive in a way that most racket sports could never possibly enjoy, allowing the use of touch and feel to effectively defeat brute force. If the knees are willing, a person can reach a remarkable distance forward, and in doing so, could potentially take a ball out of the air as a volley a lot of the time. But should they? There are those that believe that if you can volley a ball, you should. Well, I don't see it so simplistically. This game is a long and enjoyable test in time and space. Specifically, your ability to steal time away from your opponents and your ability to expose open spaces. Letting a ball bounce is not a great way to steal time away from your opponent, but it is a great way to open up the court with power, accuracy, or spin. After a ball bounces, its upward trajectory lends itself perfectly to hitting with some backspin, creating a challenging bounce for your opponent. At its apex, your contact height could be enough to play a shot with much more power, possibly even an attack. When the ball's on the way down, it can be hit with topspin much more easily. These shot selections, combined with the added time you will have to prepare your body and paddle while letting the ball bounce, will also lead to greater levels of consistency compared to the reach-in dink volley. These options are not so readily available to the avid volley dinker. So, I've just told you why letting the ball bounce has a lot of advantages. Enough said, right? Wrong. While letting a ball bounce does have a lot of advantages to challenge your opponent, it's not a great way to finish the point. Many points are simply won by unforced errors. And playing a dink off the bounce could give you all the consistency needed just to outlast your opponent. However, what if it doesn't? It's time to steal some time. You play a handful of masterful dinks, moving your opponent around the court like a puppet. And finally, you play a ball that moves them off the court. The next ball they hit back is now a critical ball. If you let this ball bounce unnecessarily, then it may indeed give them enough time to recover and perhaps return to a neutral strategic position. Alternatively, if you take the chance on playing the ball as a volley, now you may have stolen enough time to really challenge your opponent's speed. If the ball arrives high enough, then you may even be able to finish the point. Either way, for that brief moment, there is a two-on-one situation which needs to be capitalized on. Time to volley. I got this. Allowing the use of touch and feel to combat brute force. I might have said combat. <laughs> to effectively beat brute, what did I say again? But should they? Should they? Uh, well, I didn't see it so specifically. Simplistically. I didn't quite get the line right. This is the one. I can feel it. I can feel it. <sighs> Wait, got it. Practice makes perfect, right? My name is Morgan Evans, and I have to tell you that practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes progress. That's why we've created Coach Me Pickleball. At Coach Me Pickleball, you'll find an extensive and growing library of lessons on topics covering every aspect of pickleball for every level of player. With our video series, we take a strategic, structured approach that's proven to help players like you get the maximum improvement in the shortest amount of time. We go in-depth showing you what works and why. For one small monthly fee, you'll get access to every video in our library with new content added every month. Check out coachmepickleball.com to sign up for a free seven day membership. I'm not offering you a magic pill and I can't win the matches for you. However, I have coached some of the best players in the world and I've seen how the right techniques and the right strategies can elevate their game. I think I can do the same for you. So sign up today and see how I can help you get the W.